Are you tired of grinding on the same piece of metal for hours on end? Does your wife get mad at you for constantly taking her cereal boxes? Did you take my lucky charms again? Are you still stuck in the 90s and haven't figured out how to make a computer do your work for you yet? If you answered yes to any of these questions, then boy do I got a video for you. Alright guys, but in all serious, seriousness, we've all had to make some pretty difficult tabs before and use the cardboard template and cut it and refit it and cut it refit it 15 times over again and sometimes even once you do make the metal piece it sometimes doesn't always work but uh, this video is going to be about how to make tabs kind of like these shock tabs here um, fit the first time every time and not have to spend hours doing it so this technique actually works really good if you can uh, or on tabs where they're not even on both sides so you can't really see the other tab in this picture but the other tab is not the same as the other one so um, the only thing you're gonna need is a set of good measurements and um, a computer program so we'll get right into it alright so this is Fusion 360 um, this is what you guys are gonna wanna download I'll put the link in the, script, the description but it's basically what this is, just 3D modeling software. And uh, just download the free version. Uh, you basically get all the tools that you're ever going to need. So you can even get like milling and stuff like that. But just download the free version. You'll get uh, um, like the hobbyist license. You, the only downside is you're going to have to renew the license once a year. But that's no big deal. But this is actually the same software. If you've seen uh, our other video on how to... Um, build the spool. A lot of you have complained that we'd never put a provisioning for the uh, disc brake on that spool. So um, if you would like to just make a modified version of our spool, you can also do it in the same program. This is how we made the uh, laser cut files for it too. So once you download that, uh, set your account up and uh, we'll meet you over there. Alright, so once you download Fusion 360 and log in, you're going to see something similar to this. Um, you're just going to want to go to File, New Design. Um, I've already got this opened up and saved. So the first thing you're going to do is um, we're going to make this kind of how a machinist would cut things out. So what we're going to do is we're going to make a stock and then cut our tabs away from that stock. So the first thing we're going to do is actually draw our tube that's in here. We're not going to draw the stock first, we're going to draw the tube. So the first thing we're going to do is create a sketch and um, I'm going to draw this on the XY plane so X is going to be your red, Y is going to be green, and then Z is going to be blue. So Since we're working at inches, I'm going to draw an inch and a half circle because um, that's what I'm using, an inch and a half tube. And then I'm going to finish this sketch. And I'm going to extrude it. So I'm going to give my tube some length. So we'll give it, and we'll make it 20 inches long, just to say. So now I've got a tube that's 20 inches long. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to rotate it to orientation. So right now, if I look at it from... Well, the front or the top, it's perfectly in line with the, and you can use this thing over here, but it's perfectly in line 90 degrees to all the axes. But obviously, this tube is not. So, one thing you're going to need to make sure of if you use this technique is to take good measurements, or if you got plans, then you already know what the measurements are. So, this is from the KJ Racing VF1 cart and since I I bought the plans I am already know where this needs to be rotated to so I'm going to go to the move and then I'm going to rotate it um, I need to rotate it 10.8 uh, degrees this way negative 10.8 I guess to match the angle between the vertical here 
and the tube. Now the tube is also pushed forward um, by, so I want to push the top forward, so the top, it's also pushed forward um, 28 degrees, yeah 28 degrees. So I want to put my rotation on there again. I'm going to rotate it forward uh, 28 degrees. So now that I've done that, I've got my tube oriented the way that it is in the plans. Or on how my tube actually is on my chassis if I've already built it. So the second thing I'm going to do is I'm going to build the stock to cut the tabs away from. So I'm going to make another sketch, but my since my stock, since my tabs here are normal to the axes, I'm also going to draw my stock normal to the axes. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to draw it over here, a big square. We'll give myself like 12 by 12 inches, or we'll even go 14 by 14, just so I know I have enough. Okay, and then I'm going to extrude it. I'm going to finish that sketch first, and then extrude it an inch and an eighth. So the reason why I get how I get inch and an eighth is through the thickness of this hind joint. Uh, you can't really see it here, but the, the tabs are going to be an inch and an eighth apart. And that's where that comes in. So, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use my move tool again and just move my stock so that it intersects with the tube. So I got my tube punched all the way through my stock. Something like that. And I can look around it to make sure that it looks okay. That I've got it pushed all the way through and i got enough room over here to make my tabs with. Just push that over a little bit more. And that looks like it'll work. So I'm going to accept that. So uh, next thing I'm going to do is draw the holes. So I wanted to make my holes parallel to my tube. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create another sketch on my stock and what I'm going to do is draw a reference line. So what this reference line is, is just going to be a line that I can draw my holes on. So I'm just going to draw a line that's parallel to the tube and since I know the angle of the tube I'm just going to go 10.8 degrees seventy nine point two excuse me and then we'll go like fifteen inches long or whatever it doesn't really matter it's just a reference line and I can move this line wherever I want I can move it however far I want away from the shock so but what I also can do is I can if I want it exactly an inch away what I can do is I can do a projection so I'm gonna go to I'm going to press P, keyboard shortcuts, and then I'm going to take my tube from here and then just. That didn't fucking work. Well, so what I can do is I can just take this and drag it however far I want it from the stock or from the tube, and that looks. The center line of these holes looks about right there. So what I'm going to do next is draw half inch, some half inch holes. I'm going to draw a circle there. I'm going to draw four of these just like the tab has. And you can see how it snaps to the my reference line. So now I can get them all parallel and then I'll make these an inch apart. So I'll just go one inch, center to center, so they're all 
the same. So I have nice even a whoops. How'd that one get so wide? Well that's ten. So I have nice even increments and they're all they will will all be exactly perfect. So now that I got my holes parallel to my stock, I not let my stock my tube, I'm gonna finish that sketch and I'm gonna do another extrusion. So I'm gonna select the holes. And now what I'm gonna do is I can take my direction and I'm gonna go or actually I'm gonna do instead of a distance, what it's trying to do now is extrude up. So I put like an inch one or let's say like two inches, it's gonna push them out. But if you go negative two inches, it'll automatically switch to a cut instead of a join and it'll cut those holes through my stock. So now I have my holes through my stock. And it doesn't really matter where I put these holes. If I wanted to put them up here, that'd be fine or down here, that would be fine because the tabs will be able to slide along the tube, so it doesn't really matter. So now that I have my holes, the next thing, I, all I really have to do now is just cut away stuff. So, it's just cut away, it's just cut away stock. So the next thing I'm actually gonna do here is is I'm going to create another sketch on the end of this tube and I'm just going to draw the same thing and then I'm going to do another extrude but instead of going positive I'm going to do the same thing again and go negative 20 and you see how it's going to cut that hole through my stock so instead of having to make tabs that match that goofy hole at that weird angle, it's already done for me. And the computer will do it for me. So now that I've got the important things, I've got the hole for the tube and the holes for my shock, I just cut everything else away that I don't want. It's that simple. So the next thing I'm gonna do is create another sketch on top of here and basically just cut away everything I don't want. So I'm gonna press P to do a projection and what that's going to do is bring all these cutouts or the, these lines up to where I'm at now up into the up into the sketch so I'm just going to draw a line right here and I already know what angle this needs to be so now I'm working on the way, other way so now I have to go to 100 100. I have to go to 100.2 and just you know, I just draw the other half of this line and we know this one from before is 79.8 so because the tab is coming on from this way um, here I'm just going to cut this this hole down the center. So now I've got that and what I can do now is make this look neat and just add a radius here. So let's say I want like an inch and a half radius or inch and a half uh, or three quarter inch radius along the the center of these holes kind of like I have on the other one. I can just draw these here just like that. Same these radii here and down here. So what I can do now is I could use my line tool and just connect these and you see I'll snap and right here when I get the circle to do a tangent line. So same thing here and I'll just bring it out to here. Okay so to, to get the top half of the tab done so they match up nice and even, evenly, kind of like how this does here. So the, the tabs are the same size, but the cutout is differently. Um, you're going to have to project the bottom side through. So you know how tall to make it. So we're just going to go um, from here to about 
there on the bottom side. So we'll finish that sketch. So now that we've got our template here, what we're going to do is we're going to cut all the way all this excess material that we don't want. So we're going to do another extrude command. And just cut away these parts that we don't want. So we're going to do another negative extrude. So we'll just as long as we're longer than an inch and an eighth, we'll be fine. So now we're left with this goofy looking piece. And you'll be asking, okay, what's what's this any good for? Well, this is going to be the back half of the tab that you see here and this other face is going to be the front tab. Now it looks a little different just because I didn't have my holes exactly perfect to the or uh, exactly the same relative to this pipe, this tube, but now you can see that these are I just used the computer to draw the tab for me as long as I knew the dimensions and the measurements. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to save this this uh, design right here and I'm actually gonna we're gonna open a uh, drawing new drawing from design so from this part that we have here we're gonna open up a drawing like a printable design so we're gonna go eight and a half by eleven because that's the that's the printer that I got and we're gonna open that up basically just a drawing sheet and uh, we're gonna have a scale here so obviously we're gonna want one to one and we gotta change the orientation. So I got the top side here. Now I can print over this, it's not gonna really matter because you just you don't have to have these title blocks. And then I'm gonna create another one of these. Um and also here's the top. And then We'll do another create base view that you just saw there, another one to one scale, and then we're gonna do the bottom. And so now I have two faces of the tab. So I have the front face and the back face. So what actually is we're gonna happen is we're gonna print this sheet out, and so the front face I'm just gonna cut along this line and then use this inside line to cut it out and that's my front tab and then same with the back side I'm just gonna cut in on this side here and that's my back tab and so to get these um, so you can center punch these correctly uh, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to geometry and then center mark and just center these holes so now you got a perfect center line for all these holes So now you got a front tab and a back tab. And all you're really going to do now is you're just going to file and save this as a PDF and then print it off. Okay, so here we printed out the uh, templates. Uh, these are not actually the same ones we drew in the rest of the video, but these are the ones that uh, were actually on the card itself. So I took, I went through and went with a pen to show where we're actually going to cut out. So this is actually the, the backside tab and this is the forward facing tab. So I'm actually going to go and cut these out and we'll fit them to a tube and you can see what they look like. Okay, so I got these tabs cut out and I've got the labeled the front and the back. So I transferred the circles or the holes cutouts through. Uh, so you can see that yes, these do indeed, indeed match and this is just like the uh, part that we drew in Fusion. And so if you go to fit them up onto our tube, it's kind of hard to do this now, but you can see that profile fits uh, like that, just like our um, tube in Fusion. So if you kick this out 20 degrees or uh, 28 degrees, these will line up just like that. So it's a little hard to see right now, but uh, these do actually line up 
when I put them at the right angle on the tube. So if we do transfer these to the steel, they will fit uh, right away. So if you like the video, uh, drop a like, uh, be sure to subscribe and comment if you have any questions. Thanks for watching.